Boys and girls, today we are going to look at lesson five in our My Math Workbook in chapter four. We are on page 277, so make sure you're open to 277. And it's always a good idea to have scrap paper or a whiteboard laying around just so that if you want to take your work and move on a bigger space, you have that too. So if you take a look, lesson five, divide greater numbers. I don't want you to get scared today. Um, because some of the numbers are getting quite large, but we know that if we follow our Does McDonald's Sell Burgers Raw acronym, it'll help us get through any problem. So example number one, a large city has a total of 22,500 students that ride a bus to school. There are 75 different schools within the city. How many students are dropped off at each school if an equal number of students are dropped off each day or each at each school? Let S right here represent the number of students dropped off at each school. Write an equation to find the value of S. So we know that our problem is going to be 200 or 22,500 divided by 75 equals S. So before we even get into how to do it this way, I like to um, do a quick estimate so that I know what number I should be looking for. So if I want to rewrite this problem, 22,500 divided by 75 equals, so I'm going to estimate, I'm going to change this to 80, and I'm going to think of a compatible number that's really close to 22. Well, 8 times 1, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24. So I could round this one or estimate to 24,000. Okay, so now I have a new mental math problem, and I can box the basic fact. We know that 8 goes into 24 three times, and if I have zeros in my divisor and dividend, I can cross out the same amount. So I can cross out one here and one here. I have two left over. They need to come over here. So my estimate is around 300. So when I'm doing this problem in my workbook, I'm going to think it should be right around 300. So let's see if that's true. So we said that 8 or 80 went into 225 um, or 200. I apologize. Let's go back and look at this. So we ch we estimated 80 to 24,000. We said about 300. So we're going to say that 75 goes into this number about 300 times. So we're going to start with the number 3 as our first choice. So let's put 3 here. We can put our little snowflake. So 75 times 3. I like to think in, in terms of money when I multiply 75. Like if I had 75 cents and then I added 75 cents to my hand or my pocket, what would that be? 75 cents, 75 cents would be $1.50. Then I add another 75 cents, it would give me $2.25. So I would minus 2.25. I could always do this work on the side. I could always do 75 times 3. 5 times 3 is 15. Carry the 1. 7 times 3, 21. One more is 22, so it's 225. We're left with zero. Now, we have to make sure that when we do problems like this, it might look like the work is kind of done. We have to follow does McDonald's sell burgers raw. If we stop doing those steps, we won't get the right answer. We can't just say the answer is three. We still have more work to do. So now we're going to ask ourselves, how many times does 75 go into zero? Well, 75 times what gets me zero? Zero. This one's brought down, so we're going to minus zero here. Zero minus zero is zero. Now we ask ourselves one more time, 75 into zero, which does not fit. So 75 times zero is zero, and zero minus zero is zero. We follow the steps, divide, multiply, subtract, bring down, and repeat, or that is our remainder. So our final answer is 300. Wait a second. Our estimate was 300. That worked out really well this time. So our estimate matched up exactly with our real answer. 
which was 300. So if we look at the bottom, we're going to fill in our blanks here. 300. Since S equals 300, there are 300 students that are dropped off at each school. All right, let's give this another try on the top of page 278. Top of page 278, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to estimate first, and then we're going to solve to find out the real answer. They kind of put the estimate there for us. So here's the real numbers. Estimate the quotient of 46,534 and 152. Then divide. Is 36 a reasonable quotient? And explain. So let's see. So they rounded 46,534 to 45,000 and they rounded 152 to 150 to make our job a little easier. They probably know that those numbers are compatible. So we just have to think how many times does 15 go into 45? We know if we have zeros in the dividend and divisor, we can cross out the same amount. So I can cross out this one and this one. These two are going to carry over to my answer. So let's put those there before we forget. 15, okay, so 15 times 1 is not 45. 15 times 2 is 30. That's not it either. 15 times 3, I don't know that one, so I'm going to do it over here. 15 times 3... 5 times 3 is 15, carry the 1, 4 times, 3 times 1 is 3, plus 1 more is 4, 45. Does it equal 45? You got it. So 15 goes into 45 3 times. So once again, our estimate should be right around 300. Now we're going to solve to see if we have, the answer should be very close to that 300. So like we did before, 152 doesn't fit into 4, doesn't fit into 46, but it does fit into 465. We just have to think about how many times do we think it's going to go in there. Well, if we know our estimate is 300, why don't we start with the number 3 and see how close we get. So let's start with the number 3. I don't know this in my head, so I'm really going to have to do it either on some scrap paper so let me do it on scrap paper. 152 times 3. This is easy to figure out. I got a lot more room. 3 times 2 is 6. 3 times 5 is 15. Carry the 1. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 1 more is 4. So my answer is 456. So if I did 152 times 3, I'm going to subtract 456, and I think we were really close. If we would have done times 4, it would have been too much, and we would have had to adjust it and move back down. So let's see what we have left. So 5 minus 6 eh, doesn't work. We've got to go to the neighbor here. Seven, 6 becomes a 5. Bring that 1 over here. 15 minus 6 is 6. So we have 63. Oh, sorry. Mr. Brady made a mistake. Good thing we have white out. I just have to find it. Okay. So that's not right. Let's take a look. So 15 minus 6. What do you guys think? It should be 9. Uh, let's see if it's writing. There we go. 9. So we're left with 93. So now we ask ourselves. Does 152 fit into 93? Because we're trying to remember, does McDonald's sell burgers raw? It doesn't work, so we're going to have to fill that in with a zero to give us like a zero here. So it does not work. We added our zero. Zero times 152 is zero. So now we have 93 minus zero, which is, what's our answer there? 93 minus 0 is 93, so they have 93. They remembered the B for bring down, which is 4. Ooh, now we got to ask ourselves, how many times does 152 fit into 934? This is going to kind of require some guess and check work. So let's see. So we know if we did it three times, it gets us to here, which is 456. We have to get almost like double that. So let's try doubling the 3 to 6. So let's try 
let's grab our scrap paper. 152 times 6, okay? And we might have to change and go up or go down. We'll have to see. 6 times 2 is 12. Carry the 1. 6 times 5 is 30, plus one more is 31. 6 times 1 is 6, 7, 8, 9. So our answer is 912. Does that get us pretty close? Yeah, it does. So if we put 6 here and we minus 912, we're going to subtract to see how much we have left. So two, 4 minus 2 is 2, 3 minus 1 is 2, I have 22 left here. There's nothing to bring down. That means that this number is, and I know Dalen's thinking, this is the remainder. So that means we have a remainder of 22. Since the estimate is 300, and the actual quotient is 306, and we said remainder 22, um, a quotient of 36 is not reasonable. So let's take a look at, down at the bottom here, guided practice. So they want us to find the missing number. They want us to find the missing number in the division problem below. Well, we know all the steps. We've been practicing them. We know that we need to know, does McDonald's sell burgers raw? Let's make sure they did the steps. So they said 25 goes into 47 one time. I'll put my little multiplication. So 25 times 1 minus 25. Yep. Then they subtracted. So 7 minus 5 is 2. That looks good. 4 minus 2 is 2. They brought down the 8. Now they asked 25 goes into 225. So we're on the divide step. We're going to multiply to see if we can get close to this number. Well, I think of quarters when I think of 25. And I have to get to, I'm going to pretend, $2.28. So 25, 50, 75, a dollar, or 100. 125, 150, 175, two dollars. So that's eight so far. Two dollars, and I'm at eight, eight quarters, or eight twenty-fives. So I could go nine and add one more. So let's do 25 times nine. 9 times 5 is 45, so four, 5, carry the 4. 9 times 2 is 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Who so, 200. In about two minutes, we're going to be having a fire drill. Um, even though we don't have students in the building, we are by law um, supposed to conduct one a month. So, if we have any teachers or staff in the building, uh, if you would just come up front and we'll just walk right outside underneath the canopy. We'll only be out there for a couple minutes. So um, listen for the alarm, and you can just come right up front. Thank you. All right, so 225. So with a minus 225, so the answer they're missing, or the number they're missing, is 9. You're going to complete page 279 on your own. Good luck. I know you're going to do great. Have a great day, and I will see you later.